Hey guys, how's it going? This is Anthony, and this is my beautiful Tesla Model 3. Now this is a uh, standard range plus. That's a standard range battery, 220 miles with the plus upgrade. The plus upgrade gives you a little faster, zero to 60, an extra 20 miles on the battery, and a more premium interior, such as leather seats and like power adjustable, you know, movement on the seats. So anyways, this is around the car. It looks uh, just like the regular Model 3s. I got it in black because I think that's the best. And I got the 18 inch aero wheels because they were included and I prefer the look over the sport wheel. Now going inside here, you can see that the seat leather, just like the uh, full premium. They are power adjustable so you can move them around as you please, such as backwards or forwards. The only thing is um, Model 3 did not come with floor mats, so I had to get some all-weather floor mats from Amazon. That kind of sucked, but you know, what can you do? So anyways, going into the car, you can see that it's uh, pretty much all the same. I'm sorry, I just want to cover this up. As you can see, it has Alcantara for the, uh, you know, the door hand the doors. It has um, the, well, I have an all-weather floor mat. It doesn't come with that. I'll put a link to it, though, um, if you're interested. And I'll, as you can see, the all-leather seats. Now, these look really good. I put some uh, 303 aerospace protectant on them, so they stay not looking nice for a long time. And as you can see, the back seats are also really nice. Um, I put some on there, too. It's a very long process, and you have to make sure you get it done perfectly or else there'll be like little spots when you put it on. I uh, made sure I did all that and it took me about an hour, so that's that. But anyways, back to the car. It does have a center console and you know, it has storage and it has an actual, you know, little cubby area and, sorry, one second. It also has the smartphone dock so this does not come with the uh, regular standard. It's just like an all, it's just a giant yacht area where there's nothing there, which some people may like. I don't because I feel like there'd be a lot of dirt that gets stuck in there. And yeah, so as you can see with the uh, maps, it does have a satellite view, which is very nice. Looks really good. And it only has a satellite view, which, you know, that's all right. I don't, I didn't expect anything less or anything more. It, I, I, well, actually, I kind of expected it to have the GPS map so there wouldn't be a physical image, but they surprised me and they put actual satellite, which is just awesome. So anyways, yeah, so as you can see, this is a standard because it's 126 miles left on a, uh, looks like a 50% charge. And yeah, so click that, see standard plus, you get all the, you do get all the um, Easter egg, well, uh, that's my name, sorry. Uh, you do get all the Easter eggs if you want them. You get the more cow bell, the, you know, just everything. And that looks awesome. What you don't get with the uh, Model 3, sadly, is you don't get Home Link with the Standard or Standard Plus. Now, what that is, is it's a little, like, button right here that's like a home icon. You click it, and when you set it up, your garage door will open when you drive up to it. Now, this one doesn't have that feature, which is kind of sad, because even my... Uh, 2016 Toyota Avalon has a button right here that you press and the garage door opens up. This doesn't have that. So what I have to do is I actually had to get a uh, garage door opener and just attach it here. So whenever I do come home, I just press the button and I drive right in. And you know, it works out pretty good. So yeah, so other than that, the, the, part, the Standard Plus does not have a web browser. It does not, um, also, it does not have uh, music streaming. So as you can see, it has radio only, your phone. Those are the only two you can choose. But that's fine with me because I use my phone for Apple Music anyways. I don't use Slacker Radio that, that comes in the premium package. And also, I don't want to pay $100 a year for the streaming service. I just don't think it's actually worth it. Anyways, um, yeah, so let me just uh, close that out. So yeah. Uh, what else do I want to show you? Uh, I guess I'll show you the the frunk. Let me uh, open that up So that's all opened and I guess I'll open up the, the rear trunk as well. So going out we can see that uh, well, 
I do have some groceries because I just went and got some stuff, but uh, there is no uh, floor mat for the front. It did come with a charger though, so that's at least, you know, good. But no, no floor mat for the front, which makes me a little bit sad, but I'll get one eventually. I'll probably just order one within the week. Unless anyone has one that they want to donate, that'd be appreciated. All right, now going to the back, I'm probably gonna have to put the camera away because I don't want my license plate being shown. It's just a temp license, but you know, as you can see, you do get a lot of space in this car. Uh, right here, this is just like the front, for the front license plate, I'm never gonna use that. And this is for my actual license plate when I get it in the mail. But you got some storage right here. You uh, don't have any storage here. This is where your, I believe your subwoofer would be, but the Premium Plus does not have a subwoofer. And that's uh, another thing, the Premium Plus is missing like four speakers. Well, two of them, they're actually all in there. All the speakers are in there that are in the Premium, but they're not activated, which means like they have a physical speaker, they're all plugged in, but there is a, there's no way you can activate the speakers. I'm guessing Tesla's probably gonna unlock that feature for people later in the year for an extra fee. But anyways, yeah, so you lift this up and you actually got more space. So that looks really good. My uncle's in a wheelchair, so if I need to drive him around, it's gonna be really helpful taking apart his wheelchair and you know, putting it all in here because it'll just work out good. Anyways, yeah, so yeah, that's really nice. You can also fold the seats down and have even more cargo space. So let me uh, shut this. But anyways, yeah, guys, so that's the, uh, that's just, just a little quick walk around. You know, I'm sorry, it's a little bit of a amateur video, but I just wanted to show you all the, um, the, the uh, standard plus Model 3. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Have a good day.